Is there more Pal World stuff? Are people still talking about Pal World? Can you not let it go? Like, what is going on? So a few days ago, there was a situation that I wanted to cover, but I was so caught up in all that Niji stuff, oh, I did God. not get a chance. However, now that that's kind of winding down, I want to dial back and take a look at this with you. There were some gaming journalists trying to insult Pow World by saying that the player count has fallen so much since its initial peak. The same sort of gaming journalists, by the way, that will white knight for even the most- Also, like, Pow World is a single-player multiplayer game that has its hype and it will slow down. It's not an MMO. It's not an online battle royale. It, it is a game that has its hype. It's probably going to be hyped up again whenever they come out with a big content patch. So I, I don't know, like, I think people are just trying to find new rage baits whenever it comes to Power World because it's like journalism nowadays is just like clickbait and rage baits. There, there, there are barely any real or good journalism uh, journalists nowadays in the world because there's no reason for it. It doesn't drive profit. It doesn't drive interest. They rather just like make stupid claims and try to get people to click and go through it to, to get any form of success. It's so silly. Predatory of AAA games. And so Bucky of Pow World over wow. on Twitter had issued a statement in response to those gaming journalists and a Reddit thread here from our Pow World with almost 54,000 upvotes saying, Pow World dev says journalists talk of player drop off is lazy and it is fine to stop playing once you can you might be right on that milk as a service games. So Bucky starts his tweet by talking about how Pow World has far exceeded pocket pairs expectations. Can you just look at those likes? Can you, do you see that? Jesus, that's a lot of up dudes. And that if any gamers had decided to put the game down after 54K. having fun with it, that, that's totally fine. Then going on to address the gaming journalists without outright naming them, saying, this emerging Power World has lost X percent of its player base. Discourse is lazy. Reassuring True. players that new content will come and that pocket pair is Keep still cooking. working hard on the game. And then in a classy move at the very end, even says, play lots of games, try different genres, and frequently flick through indie libraries to find hidden gems. It's funny when lately you've had these gaming journos, as well as some devs from major gaming corporations, bashing indie games out of their own apparent insecurity. Isn't that so insane? That people are bashing indie games. And it's not even people, it's people in the industry. Like, whenever I looked at the industry in the past, like, people try to bring each other up. Like, indies are having a hard time. Like, what is going on? What kind of upside narrative have we moved on to? Where the people within the industry is pushing the small guys even further down. Like, what are you doing? Are you just that jealous? What the... And here you have an indie game dev, not just calling out the journalists but even triple a other. all mad about baldur's gate it might elden ring and baldur's gate i'm gonna I'm be honest those two games put triple a games fucking down the trash bin like they are they cannot escape it anymore they are put in a category of absolute dog shit i'm gonna be honest i don't know what the last triple a game i bought i can't think of anything I mean, I, I got Grand Blue Relink, but I didn't buy this. I got it as a gift. I feel like AAA, there's like no time I want to buy AAA games anymore. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's, okay, let's move away. Let's remove Japan from this conclusion. Western AAA games. I can't think of the last Western AAA game I, like I enjoyed or I bought. Because it's kind of insane. How all everything coming out is just so bad. Just no interest, no passion, no love. Rushed products. And it's just like filled with devs that have no love for the player base or the industry itself. Dragonflight? Oh yeah, it might have been Dragonflight. I'm never touching WoW again. Hell no. God, Dragonflight. Re oh, dude, I hate WoW. I hate retail WoW so much. God damn. Hello, I just joined since I need help sharing. Ooh, okay. Uh, a creative assembly gets their uh, acts together. It'll get next Total War, but right now they're trash. Total War is a very niche type of field. It's a niche genre itself, and I bet they will do great. I, I bet they will do great, but you know, 
I feel like whenever you look at... Have you seen how bad Ubisoft is doing nowadays? They're not doing good, boys. They're not doing good. They're not doing good at all. Ooh. And my ass that have not bought a Ubisoft game in like t over 10 years. 2000, no. Assassin's Creed 2 was my last Ubisoft game. Never bought a single one after that. That the skull and bones, whatever pilot quadruple A pirate game they're releasing looks so bad. And overall, they are not doing great with the rate like the, the previous releases at all. Indie games as well. Like I said, in my opinion, a pretty classy move. But let me know what you think about it in the comments. And thank you for tuning in. See you there. And of course, in the next segment. Yeah. That is, uh, that is shameful. Shameful. My God. I can't believe. I don't know. I feel like the devs that kind of. I feel like devs that kind of shit on indie devs. I feel like they should. I, I feel like they deserve the same treatment. I don't know. You fuck around like that. If you're trying to push down indie devs instead of like helping them out, beefing them up, you're an asshole. I, I don't I don't I don't wish anything good upon your in like your professional focus then. Cause that is so that is so nasty. It's absolutely so nasty. I just want that good submarine simulator game. That probably will be in time, else you gotta make it yourself. But yeah. Hi, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe. I'll post videos nearly every day, so if you want to watch any more reactions, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you there.